Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to going to episode 10 of I Cut Two Planets. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, no, I thought I was gonna burp. No. Hmm. No. Something tells me, because I remember from the preview, um, she's gonna have to tell him that she's Hannah or someone else. We know that it, it, it's been, come, we've been all wondering about this ever since episode one. We knew it was gonna come to light, but I think for me, I didn't think it was gonna happen so, so soon. I was expecting more of, like, episode 20. Or however long this series is going to be because you know still we really don't know how many episodes um personally this show is getting because really like I said there I don't think you know Bandai is really telling us a lot about it I mean they're telling us like a lot of things but really you got to think about it I don't as much as I would like to see a 50 episode series with this, I don't think it's going to happen. I can see more 25, but not 50. It, it's something that, you know, I mean, who knows how much they were able to film, like, between last year going into this year. If they were able to get their quota of the 25 episodes and able were able to get it finished and completed and recorded and everything, congratulations and stuff, but... I don't know. I mean, it's also about the fandom because everybody still has mixed appearance <laughs> feelings on this. I mean, a lot of people have kind of made videos on this and how they're also talking about their opinion and such. Because don't get me wrong, I still like it. I just have a little nitpicks and stuff just as much as everyone else. Oh! And she dropped the... Oh, God. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, Mal. Mm. 
Make something up. Exactly. Some people might not like you. But you can't keep it a secret for long. Someone else is going to be bound to find out. And they might say the same thing about you. That's the question, though. But I think it's better for her, to, for her to do it like this instead of wait. One person already knows. And I don't think she just she doesn't want to disappoint them. Even though in the way she already has.
Oh. You ready? Hope this goes well. Yeah, and it seems like everybody is okay and they're fine with this change. But I just think once Mal, you know, officially says, hey, <laughs> I'm Hannah and such, it, it, I think it's just, it's not going to be like crazy. But I think, yeah, some people are going to be like, oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I think people will be accepting as well. Uh-oh. It's probably going to be the only time that I'm really worried of how this is going to go.
which hopefully we get more to that story, please, because, I mean, personal reasons can be anything. We all knew you knew. Mm. Yeah, because it wouldn't be fair. Listening to the song kind of gives me, like, cafe vibes. Or, you know, yeah, more cafe vibes. Like, you're in a really nice cafe. It could be a Saturday, Sunday morning, afternoon, whatever. And it just comes on. It's just, like, nice and upbeat and soothing. That was cute.
That was sweet. Oh, 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 Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm glad it all worked out well. Thank you. Oh my god. Yeah, the song, the song was good. Can we just please talk about how freaking good that song was? Because, oh my god. Mmm. Good. Like, mwah. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, so now it just makes you wonder if the previous Mal was possibly going to make another appearance. We know it's going to come. I'm guessing like probably the second half of the show because you know not everybody from this Idol series is currently out yet. So of course it's gonna happen. Um, I'm okay with everybody you know accepting her because. That was her biggest fear. I think that's like almost with everyone, you know, especially um, as someone who you follow or you idolize for such a long time and then you feel a certain type of way when they announce a secret or something and then you have to either accept it or you don't. It's something almost like the things that, you know, celebrities and YouTubers and other idols and everything have to deal with on a daily basis, you know with me and everyone else having to deal with certain things and we say hey here's something new about it that you didn't know and then everyone's like oh really you're like you're one of those and stuff and, and yeah <laughs> they don't like it but some people are very supportive and that's the one thing that i like about you know communities in general yes some communities can be very very toxic but you just gotta find the good ones out of it I do hope we get to see how her brother kind of handles it a little bit more. <laughs> Oh, she's so freaking cute. Oh my god. Like, I love her so much. She's so fucking adorable. But since that episode officially came out today, but by the time you guys see this, you know, tomorrow it'll be past Saturday. So, of course, I'm not going to be able to see that until next time. But I think, you know, for Mal slash Hana, this was a really good starting point for her. I do like the fact that, you know, she was like, I, you know, um, I want to reclaim everything that um all the points that she had as hannah this means the previous hannah and her and she wants to start from zero i think that's a really good thing that she did because she did she's still from the like from episode one up until episode nine she's always been the hannah that she's been pretending to be and now officially she can step out as hannah as herself and so I, I love the fact that she is starting from the bottom so that she can lead it and not being on someone else's stepping stone and such like that where she's like okay we're gonna start from the nitty-gritty i have to work my way up as hannah i have to get people to truly see me as mal hannah and not the previous one and so i think it's just going to be really really good i think there are going to be a couple of challenges coming her way which possibly the previous version who uh person who did mouth she's going to come back something tells me she is going to come back don't know when but she is going to make an appearance and i don't think it's gonna go 
predominantly well. I mean, you know, uh, the Aikatsu series has done a really good job with handling, like, uh, rival arcs and such, but I think when the previous gen of Mao comes in, I don't know how in the world they're going to do that, especially with a live-action series and how, you know, an anime, you can get it so well done, but sometimes in a live-action anime hybrid, it is a little difficult and such. But honestly, we ain't gonna know until we get to that episode. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 10 of I Cut Your Planet. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially, y'all, next Saturday, Sunday, maybe Tuesday, Wednesday for episode 11. Bye, guys.